All right, so today we are working on the C10. C10. I got Blake here, also an ugly duck Jeep. That's right. Make sure you check that on Instagram, it's super crazy. Um, but we've done some modifications here. We've got a new dashboard, new dash pad, got some vintage air, um, got some new carpet, got a new uh, kill mat insulations Don't underneath forget. it. The 99 cent store floor mats. 99 cent store floor mats. <laughs> We're loving it. So got it all kind of together. Uh, the one thing I'm missing, which is kind of flat, kind of boring, is the old gauges. Um, I only think actually one of them work, which is the fuel gauge. Everything else is. Uh, That's all you need. Doesn't work. That's all you need. So, but um, you know what we did? We reached out to our friends over at Holly. Said, hey, what do you guys have? Uh, what options do you have? Um, so uh, let's go take a look and see what we got. So, like I said, we reached out to Holly, asked him a few questions, and um, we came up with this. Actually, you have these in your Jeep. Yeah. So, tell me about them. How you like them? They work good. So, yeah? For me, the speedometer was the biggest thing. Because uh, I, I have a Turbo 350 in my Jeep, and uh, the old cable's torn up and whatever. So, I wanted to do this one because it has GPS speedometer. Oh, that was the biggest selling look at that. The GPS speedometer, and it also has a zero to 60 in a quarter mile time. <laughs> so, so which is zero to 60? Uh, I don't have, you don't have to say. Not yet. Not, <laughs> the world's not ready for the GPS. Um, so yeah. how do these yeah. all? The thing that I never saw in any other video when I put this together was that this GPS comes with an antenna. So you plug the antenna to the back here. And luckily in my Jeep, I have a steel windshield, so I just kind of smacked it onto the, the windshield frame and it works perfect. It does take a second to find a satellite though. Yeah. So these all kind of pigtail to each other and then tie into the, yeah, so that's the Terminator, right? This is the one that flies solo and the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge just goes to your tank. But the rest of them, it's easier if I show you. So what do we have? Oil pressure, right? So oil pressure has two what the kids call it nowadays, aux cords, or the three and a half millimeter. And you plug one in here, and then you plug one to the next gauge, and they all tie together, and you use this uh, module, and plug it directly in with this white and black pinned wire. Okay. You're gonna plug that directly into the Terminator box, in one of the pins, I think it's J16, but it might be 61, something like that. I'm a little okay. dyslexic. But it's super easy to hook super up. Super easy. I think I had them in in like half a day. So it beats wiring and, or running oil lines to your dash. Yep. I just don't want to do any of that. So you spend a little bit more money, but you get a good product. And they haven't, they haven't been like, they haven't acted weird or done anything funny for me. So I know some people had like electrical problems in the beginning, but yeah. I think they really dialed them in there. So that's just my opinion. That's cool. Pretty red. Well, let's uh, let's get to it. So the best part is when you have your friends help you, and you can just watch. Ooh, is that thing on? This is on. Great. That's Lucky. Give him a follow. Lucky's Garage. You probably already are. I'm gonna have to charge you. I have to charge you now. Well, I'm making an appearance. I'm making an appearance. So we decided. Is it is it hardline? <laughs> uh, I just want to do that. It's a little stress. There. Well, all right. Let's see. All right. So we got the bezel out, um, which these will sit in here super nice. So. The bezel is out, so those will sit in there super nice. Kind of digging that. What are you doing? Oh, we're just doing a little fitment here. All right, where are we at? Nothing on. Okay, so the idea is to Ooh, there we go. Remove the dust cover, the lens, and then take out this little diffuser. This is actually called a light diffuser because the bulbs are going to be right behind this. Boom. Fuses everything, see that beautiful color? And That's then it cool. reflects off the reflectiveness. 
the reflecting of the reflectiveness. <laughs> but the cool thing about this <laughs> Say is that again? the reflecting of the reflectiveness. <laughs> the cool thing about this is these are centered with the bezel that you already have. Mm -hmm. So that will save you a lot of work if you're trying to build this whole thing from yeah. scratch. Yeah. So, Let's see if that theory is true. See, this worked on paper. This worked on paper. So. It looks like everything kind of lines up. Oh, I like that. Kind of perfectly. So now we are to get the gauges in the, look what the, do you want to call it? This is a bezel. No. This is going to be a light, light diffuser. Diffuser, it is a light diffuser. Thank you. How do these, see these need to be opened up, but if you open them up evenly and drop these in, these will be perfectly centered with the bezel. Oh, dude. It's pretty neat. And that feels like that's easier than modifying this bezel. Correct. And you're not going to use any of this anyway. No. It's not like we're not damaging no. anything. You can get those all so day long. You can trim this evenly, or you could go so far if you're working from home. You could make this whole thing out of aluminum and use these measurements yeah. to mm -hmm. cut it all, but we're not going to do that. We're let's just open those up. Yeah, we just gut these things because there's a couple things to take into consideration. The bend right here, yeah. turning these gauges towards the driver, where these are located centrally, you're supposed to be able to see them through the opening in the steering wheel. But there's something else that you wouldn't always take into consideration is that these are two different depths because the, they're kind of looking up at you. Oh, that's true. So you would make something flat and put it on the back and two gauges would need big old giant spacers. Yeah, big old spacers. Maybe this might work out just good. It might work out. Chips. All right, Blake, let's open them up and do it. Okay, I got scissors. This scissors. hourly rental fee at this garage is expensive, so let's do it. Oh, wait, I, I can pick it I'm just gonna keep leaving this little ear on there until I get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> we just checked for clearance, maybe. Now we're going to. You got the speedo? I need the other one. So I left enough room for the gauges to be moved around in case they need to. These have threaded little uh, spanners that go on here. Little uh, plastic locks. It's just so the loveliness of the holly gauge. So it's got these puppies that go on, just thread on. It's like a boat gauge from back in the day. Yeah. But now we can drop these in, tack on the right. It's pretty close, but I think there's enough room. Yes, 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 and yes. Yeah. Yeah, phone starts ringing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. It, dude, it looks good. From the back, it's the back. Dude. The back side looks it great. Looks so, it can be moved around if necessary. We need to move it to fit and line up with that. Beasel. With the beasel? Now this one. Stretch right in. Yeah. Beasel. Is that a GPS? That is, right there? that is. That is, my friend. This is the beauty of this whole system. A, it's not super expensive. No. B, this is the first one I've ever done, and even I can do it. So these are all daisy chain into each other. GPS antenna just screws right on the back of the gauge. Apply voltage and enjoy your drive. You know what the best part is? There's a lot of different other brands out there which are great, but this one ties into the you know to the computer. Daisy chain everything. Oh, it's CAN bus, right? To the yeah. one pin to J16A. You don't have to do. You, Wait, what? <laughs> wow, throwing well, numbers. I was the impression there was going to be no arithmetic today, but. <laughs> But it is nice how everything ties together. Did you bring the bezel over? You did? Yeah. Alright. Okay, yeah, you don't need to put a new... Shut the camera off. I don't know if this is really going to work. Just kidding. Look at that, dude. 
Yeah, that looks great, doesn't it? That looks killer. That's awesome, man. Cut. That's gonna be thin. Look at that. Whoa, dude. It looks factory. It does. Very factory, yes. I yeah. like that. That looks good. It does look pretty good. Dude, look at it, like on this side. You yeah. see it? I'm gonna have to submit an invoice for this one. Take a picture of that with your camera. Once right the other gauges are in, you'll be able to appreciate oh, awesome. it. No, I'm excited right now. You'll be able to appreciate the lovely. Let me get the right angle over here. Did you guys seriously think we were going to outsmart General Motors engineers? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> that looks pretty sick, dude. Looks kind of factory. Dude, I like that. Dakota who? Good call on that. Dakota who? Good call on that. Going that way. Now. So where are we at now? Let's get some hot glue and some silicone rubber, some zip ties, and I think we're good. Yeah, duck it. How about some C clamps? <laughs> Some C clamps. Gauges are loose, or you can move them a little bit. I think we're going to be slotting all the small gauges and moving them all to the left just a little. Yeah, open it up a little bit. Now do this to this because that's going to bring the structure back. Do down. black to white. Look right here, right? Like here. This one. Yeah, there. I'm surprised all these are matching. All right, so we got it in there. I think it's looking pretty good. We're gonna, for our first fitment, we'll pull it out. Um, we're gonna make a little bit of adjustment on this one. Is it over and up a little bit? Is that what we're doing? Down and right. I thought it was up and to the right. I think we need to trim up and right or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, we need to trim the upper corner. So we can go that way a little bit and that just a little bit. It's looking good, huh? Mm-hmm. And then we'll tie uh, we can put all the wiring in and get her fixed up. So that's the basil. That looks good just like that. <laughs> just leave like that. I wish I can get my hand back there. Maybe the we can slide the gauge. Root beer is good. Okay. Root beer's good? All right, well, we got all of the gauges are in. Blake is just tightening it up. I'm gonna put the cluster in here. And if everything works well, we got it all wired right. We'll be able to fire it up and see what it looks like after we get the, the bezel on. But so far, what do you think? It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It is all It looks right. good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna need... Okay, well, we got them in. They're in. Let's see if this thing works. Let's see. Oh, we got lights. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they look great. Dude, they look so nice. Yeah, they really make it uh, pop. Can you get any little focus on that? Hard to see, but. But uh. So now it's gonna. So now he's got the time. It already knows what time it is. It doesn't right now. It's a 6.02. Yeah, what time is it? It's three. not six. Oh, three. No, but look, keep looking. This is the cool part. Um, that tells you your actual mile per hour, so the actual number. Mm -hmm. And then you click it one more time. We're pointed north. 
That's retarded. Pretty fancy. Um, I don't know. Peak. Peak, whatever. Uh, miles per hour, so it, how nice. fast it's ever gone. And zero to 60. We'll have to test that out. And quarter mile time. What? And it just says press and hold the stage, so you just press and hold it. Yeah. And then you do your run. That's and cool. It's pretty sweet. So as of now, you have zero miles on this truck. You could sell it for all kinds of money. There you go. Zero miles, guys. It's for sale. Zero miles, 74 cent tip. I think that's it, man. I think we're all buttoned up. We'll put away all of our tools. We'll take a little test run and check it out. But I dig it. Looking good. All right, we got the new gauges in. Like I said, this is its first little test run. Um, I got 14 volts. The temperature, we just jumped in, so it's not even warmed up yet, but uh let's see i got some oil pressure there the tack's working things are looking good dude we'll pull out of here and uh see what this looks like see if this thing uh, is actually going to read my speed with my gps poly efi gauges oh look at that Oh my god, that's worth so, all the money right there. Not having a speedo cable, an old tire speedo cable that just bouncing around making noise. A gained tachometer, which is there. Oh, this is so nice. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, if you're looking for some um, really cool gauges, check out Holly. Uh, it's a Holly uh, EFI uh, gauges, the analog. Super nice, kind of have that old nostalgic look, but uh, current uh, current technology. That's it. Thanks again. Thanks to Lucky and uh, Blake for all your help today, and uh, we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. See you guys.